The parametric Elite CAD 3D data model can be displayed and processed in multiple windows simultaneously. For example, here you can see a render view or other views and the sections and floor plans that are always in relation to the design model, which allows changes and entries to be made directly in the views. In the example here, the width of the corner window is changed directly on the design model. The result is also available immediately in the facade view. You have the option to model directly on the design model by copying the parapet walls here to other stories. You also have the option to enter changes directly in the views. For instance, you can create a window directly in the view in the facade. To do this, select a corresponding window, retrieve reference points that are essentially located above each other, but not on the design model, and you therefore have access to them nonetheless and can enter them directly from the facade. Now we are in the floor plan. I would like to demonstrate how windows can be applied directly in the floor plan and how this window, in this example a corner window, can be depicted straight and correctly in the facade, in the design model and the associated sections. A window can therefore be defined and changed in multiple views. For example, I can go to the west facade and shift the window to the correct alignment of the other windows. Now I can switch to the south facade and adjust the same window to the alignment of the other windows on the facade plan. This is a very convenient way of working, which is also in line with Architect's way of thinking, of course. Now I call up the parametrics of the window directly in the facade. For example, I can define divisions and I can define opening types in order to enter this window correctly. In addition to being able to modify the construction parts, drawing access is also provided. To do this, I activate both windows and adjust the parapet height to the height of the parapet above. Now the parametrics of the window have also been adjusted and I have the option to transfer this information to a selection, in this case a click selection, of other windows. Here I select a different window in order to enter the division, in this case a transom in the editor. Then I have the option to transfer this information automatically to a selection of windows with the same width. With this parametric transfer option, a major objective can be achieved with minimal effort. If I change the height of the parapet ball here in the design model, for instance, you can see that the result has already arrived in the south facade. Now you have the option to transfer this depiction standard, which is completed in design planning, to the work drawing depiction standard. For this, the parametric data is exchanged with the database and plan views are therefore depicted in a different planning standard. In order to get to the work drawing, I define the multiple layers of this wall construction by simply stating these layers in the editor. I select 18 cm brick and insulate it with a 20 cm insulation layer. If this result looks OK in the editor, I have the option to transfer this information to the entire selection. And now you can see what the free stops of the window look like, for instance. And now I see that the window's reveal depth is not entirely correct. I can correct this by selecting the corresponding sizes and then check this on the facade. In the case of thermal insulation, it is a good idea for the window sill to cut under the insulation. I can enter this directly in the parametrics and then check the result again in the window. 
Having made this setting for the windowsill, I can assume that this window will more or less work as it is. Then I can select other construction parts, in this case a door for example. I have the option to control this door for the work drawing with the entire parametrics. In this case I select a covering frame. I can determine the door panel in terms of its extent and of course its allocations. I also have access to colour selections here in the NCS colour system which I can allocate by clicking on them in order to depict this door perfectly to comply with the standards of a work drawing. I now transfer the information that I have defined for the wall to the entire facade construction. For example, I also have the option to transfer the settings that I have entered for the window to the level of detail that I see fit. For instance, I don't want the dimension and all of the window divisions to be transferred, but rather the stop and window sill, this sort of detailed information, and can allocate this information for the entire design model. Now I also have the option to allocate the doors globally, and therefore to obtain correctly depicted covering frames in all stories. I have therefore updated the whole design model in the shortest space of time, brought it in line with the standards of a work drawing, and there is also the option to go into even more detail here of course. For example, I can click on a finished floor or screed, create definitions or select them directly in order to allocate them accordingly. As sectioning is a relatively complex task, I can also layer the floors of this finished floor to adjust them correctly in the border area. I can use the handle which I can also populate with numerical values to control a very precise depiction of these border connections. In Elite CAD you will find a tool that can be used parametrically throughout from the first design to implementation and detail planning and which offers you a high level of efficiency and above all fun in architecture planning.